Hi folks, G3 here, and welcome to another instalment of my journey to go green. In today's episode, I'm going to be having a go at pickling some red cabbage. Red cabbage is something that can easily be grown in the garden, so it's something you could have that you want to try and preserve and keep for longer. And a good way of doing that is by pickling it. It's something that we have every Christmas time with our cold meats and mashed potato and, and pickles. And red, pickled red cabbage is one of the things that we often have. I've been following a recipe from Sarsons and I'll include the link further down below. I've changed it ever so slightly to suit my needs. The proportions that are needed are a medium red cabbage, 450 millilitres of pickling vinegar, a tablespoon of sugar, and a small amount of salt. Now their recipe also includes a small onion, but it's not something that I'm gonna be using. I have got this huge, huge five litre container of um, pickling vinegar or spiced vinegar. So it's five litres, it cost me just under five pound from my local farm shop and this is going to last me a long time. Now, I'm not sure how many jars I'm going to make. I've used three quarters of a red cabbage I've cut up so far and I'm not sure how far that's going to go. So I am going to do a batch of the vinegar and see where we go with that. I'm probably going to do maybe a litre of vinegar when it comes to it. Let's have a go at the process. And the first thing is going to be preparing the red cabbage. And what we're going to need to do is cut it up, salt it and leave it overnight. The first phase is removing the outer leaves from the red cabbage. Just that these are obviously dry and uh, exposed to dirt and dust. So I'm just removing those. Right. Then and quarter it. Look at that, lovely color in there. That's quarter. And then what I'm gonna be doing is cutting it into thin strips. And these will naturally, because of the, the way that it's, uh, you've got the layers in there, it will naturally come into small pieces. I think I might need to make it a little bit chunkier than that maybe, we'll see. Good, carry on with that. So I'm just breaking it into the pieces in the bowl just so it's separate. Going down as far as I can until I get to the core, I think. Um, yeah, I'll take out the bits that are quite chunky there at the bottom. Don't need those since I've got so much. Now I've got all of this cut up and I've used three quarters of that cabbage. The next step is to um, add salt. So I've got some table salt and the idea behind this is to salt it, mix it in, and that will draw some of the moisture out, which then will improve the pickling process because some of the, um, the vinegar can then be drawn into the cabbage. So I'm just gonna give it a, um, uh, a liberal sprinkling of salt and I'll be mixing this in so it's nicely, um, nicely covered throughout. And uh, that, once it's left overnight, will take out some of that water. Made quite an impression on my hands. I've got quite purple hands from doing this. So I recommend not doing it before anything important. Now, I think this is probably gonna be enough once I've done this. There we go. Good stuff, I'll make sure I wash my hands because it's very salty. Um, and the final step is to cover this when you're leaving it. So I've got a large piece of waxed cloth that's been made for me. Keep it covered. And we'll come back to this and do the next stage of the pickling later. Okay, we've got our red cabbage that was salted after being shredded and that's been stored overnight to try and draw out some of the, the moisture. And this is what it's looking like. There's some fluid in the bottom 
that has been extracted out of that. And what we need to do now is to drain that liquid off and just give it a little bit of a rinse under the tap to wash the salt off. Then we're gonna pat it dry with a little bit of kitchen towel so that the red cabbage is prepared. Get it all in a nice large sieve. Run some water through. We're doing this to wash the salt off. And that is thoroughly rinsed. Next step will be to pat it dry with some kitchen towel. I'm going to leave that drying off while I do the next stage. Next, we're going to sterilize the kilner jars. Slide that in. And I am going to use the fan oven at 100 degrees to sterilize those jars whilst I get on with preparing the vinegar. Now I've measured out a litre of the vinegar and pouring that into my pan. I'm not 100% sure on how much I'm going to need for my jars, so I'm doing, I think, more than enough. Next we're going to add sugar. The recipe I'm following said half a tablespoon for 450 mils of vinegar, so I'm going to use a tablespoon, a heaped tablespoon, for this litre of vinegar is on a gentle heat, so we're going to be looking to dissolve the sugar in the vinegar. What I've also prepared is a little saucepan with water and I've got the kilner jar rubber seals here and I'm going to boil this water so that those get sterilized. So let's get that on as well. And that's on a gentle heat as well. The vinegar is up to temperature and has dissolved the sugar in there. So that's okay to turn off. It can start cooling. You can always prepare that the day before and let it cool fully and then use it cool. But personally, I quite like to use it hot, along with the hot jars and uh, make sure that it's fully, fully sterilized in there. The tops for the kilner jars, the water's starting to bubble away there, so that's been sterilized and the oven is up to temperature. It's up to over 100 C, just over, so those jars will also be sterilized. So I'm gonna turn that off. I've got some exceptionally good oven gloves here that are very thick and can withstand quite a temperature. So I'm gonna use those to get my jars out. They're ready for the lids to have the rubber bungs put on them now as well. I'm taking out the rubber and I'm going to be attaching these onto the kilner jar lids using the oven gloves to make sure that I'm protected from the heat. Now I'm calling these kilner jars because they're kilner style but in truth I actually got them from Ikea. They're a very reasonable price. There we go, that's the rubber bungs or rubber seals on the Kilner jars. So next thing is to put the red cabbage in there. I've gone and poured the vinegar into this jug so it's going to be easier to top up the jars once I've got the red cabbage in there. And now we're going to put the red cabbage in. Looks like I've judged this reasonably well, the amount of cabbage uh, I've got. Now we need it all to be submerged beneath the vinegar to make sure that it's all being pickled. If it's above the surface then it's not going to be pickled and it's defeating the object then. Let's see how far this goes. So I've used 300 millilitres in that one. So it looks like I'm going to have enough to do all the small jars and I'm going to have to do the big jar again. So I'm filling them quite full to make sure that 
it's all under the vinegar. And then I'm gonna seal the lids. Good to have the glove on for this because of the metal. There we go, that's one jar. That's looking pretty good. Second one. And a third. So there we are, this is one filled jar, looking pretty good to me. That needs to be left for about a week. I'm gonna put it in a cool, dark place. So in the meantime, I'm gonna make another batch to top up this large jar. Then I will come back to you after a week and we can see what it tastes like. Okay, it's about a week after we produced the pickled red cabbage. It's Boxing Day today, so the 26th of December. Now, because of us being in tier four lockdown, we haven't been able to spend the time with our, um, with our family on Christmas Day. Traditionally, what we'd normally have is a cold turkey with mashed potato and pickles on Boxing Day, so using up the, the turkey. Well, we didn't get a turkey because we found out we were going into tier four rather rather swiftly so we've used the pork and the ham that we had anyhow in the freezer and some sausages and the mash and then we've got loads of pickles so we're going to be trying the red cabbage and seeing how that um, tastes um, but first off we've got our homemade crackers I made these um, a year or so back I haven't done a video on it as yet but I will do a video about making these so rather than having the throwaway crackers these are some that you can make yourself. So. Shall I assist you? Yeah, by all means. It. Go on then. Yeah, let's have so a pull. So I'll pull, you go bang. Yeah, okay. Go on then. Three, two, one. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, I mean, it's not quite the same thing, but it is just a very sweet um, thing. So we've got a little gift in here. My mum's put these together this year. I put the gifts in last year and she's done it this year. So I've got a tiny little, very ornate bird. That is so cute. That is beautiful and uh, a little chocolate. Three, two, one. <laughs> I got oh, a... I got a bird as well. You got a little birdie as well. I like these feather. They're so sweet, aren't they? Right, let's help ourselves to pickles. Get a nice selection. We're gonna try the red cabbage as well. And once we've eaten, um, we'll let you know how, um, how it was. So... Mm. Mm. Sharp. In mm. a good way. Mm. Mm. I like the crispiness of it. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. Really nice. Cold meats, uh, mashed potato and pickles. And the red cabbage. Pickles. Now you commented that you thought a lot of these were quite sweet. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of sugar in some of these pickles. They're, they're nice. But they are sweet but this was a good comparison to it because it, it didn't have that sweetness it had the the crispness and the crunch to it because it's only been about a week since it was pickled it's still got a lot of um, firmness and bite to it which which was really nice it was very tasty i don't think it lacked anything for not having the onion in there the pickling vinegar had some spices in there so it, it was a nice vinegar to use with it and the amount of sugar that was in the mix was was fine you didn't really taste the sweetness did you it just gave it that little edge i suppose no i didn't taste any sweetness all of that at all no it was it was um it was good so i think it's a thumbs up to to the pickled red cabbage Thank you very much, Sarsons, for the, the recipe. I think that was fine, and we've tweaked it a little bit, and really good, so we'd make that again. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, then please click the like button. It helps encourage YouTube to um, share the video to others who might find it useful. And if you haven't done so already, then why not subscribe to the channel? Then you'll find out about all of the bits and pieces that I'm doing on my journey to go green, and loads of hints and tips like making the red uh, pickled red cabbage. And if you click the bell icon as well, then you'll get notified as soon as I load up a new video. Well, thanks for watching, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, bye. Cheers.